Hey everybody. <clears throat> Been a while since I've done anything. I decided to finally make a recording of a let's play of a mod of Final Fantasy Tactics that I thoroughly enjoy. It's a, a difficulty mod. You can find it at insanedifficulty.com. Uh, if you enjoy the game but thought that it was way too easy, or completely imbalanced is better. It's vanilla Final Fantasy Tactics is so broken. Um, then you should check this out. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it adds a lot more balance to it. Uh, the enemies actually use their abilities well. You actually have to think and set everything up well. <clears throat> and try. And keep trying. And there, that's the current version in the bottom left. It's 1.3.0.8. Um... I haven't really played this version much yet. The latest I played, my goodness, it was a while ago. I think it was 1.6. Pretty sure it was 1. No, you know what? I think it was 1.5. And I played 1.6 content. But this is just regular old 0.8. Um, but I couldn't bear myself to play through normally again. I tried. It's mainly a time issue, I just, I don't have the time. So what I'm going to be doing is a, kind of a funny, silly, very silly thing. I'm going to play through with some custom Biblos uh, units, and I've basically just mastered out Ramza. So Ramza can do whatever. I'm kind of going to use Ramza just as support, and uh, finally give Biblos his time to shine here. Um, Pretty much all I did was give them some extra abilities so that they don't just have counter and can't move in the water. Um, it's gonna be silly. It's gonna be uh, probably crushing in the beginning, and then I'll probably get crushed closer to the end because they are going to get hit by basically every status ever later on. Uh, but I thought that it would be fun to do. I wouldn't have to spend hours and hours on strategizing because I don't remember what all the abilities do. Oh, and also I'm sure that uh, some abilities have changed. Just as I was going through and learning stuff for Ramza, there were spells, for example, that I didn't remember from 1.5 or 6, whatever I'd played last. Uh, and I did I did play a little with, with 8. Um... So I have seen the Tonbury. I don't think the Tonbury was in it when I played it before, though. So let me just check out their stuff again. I oh, yeah, may kill instantly. That's that's unfortunate. Um, so yeah, the, this mod has changed quite a lot, and I'll try to talk about some of the things that has changed from vanilla for anyone who isn't familiar with it. Although I'm guessing that this let's play will mostly be interesting for people who already know what it is because like I said it's it's just gonna be cruel um, it's it's cruel but um with this the first couple battles I'm not gonna you know even give them a chance because it's just pathetic but <clears throat> I'm gonna hopefully get through the first few battles very quickly oh good distribute works I never actually used distribute before that's funny um, and then get to the more interesting battles where uh, I'll actually have to try to pick out the right units to attack first, but uh, I'm guessing that it won't really matter for a while because these first few battles, they are just not equipped to deal with this. You're not really supposed to have anything in the first few battles. But that's okay. So, if you're not familiar with it, you should check out InsaneDifficulty.com. It's a great site. They've got lots of difficulty mods. But this one in particular, they just... Everything, I mean everything, is, is balanced out. Uh, equipment, spells, uh, the enemies in vanilla... In story battles, the enemies didn't scale with you, so you didn't even have to 
be in a good job. If you were just over leveled, you'd still win. Um, but now it's different. Whoops, let's see. Oh, these are guests. They're not going to be in my party long. I probably don't even need to give them anything. Just try to get through this. So yeah, equipment, skills. Let's see. Obviously the story's the same, but uh, all the skills have been fixed. Anything that's completely broken, like blade grasp, has been removed. Uh, anything that needed to be made better was, or, or nerfed a bit, was, so that everything, I mean everything, really does have a chance to be used. It's not like there's anything that is worthless. Um, I did just say I've never used Distribute, and that's because uh, I never have, but um, I'm using it now. See, it's got its use. Anyway, I wanted to show that uh, also where the abilities are have been moved around. And Bard had both move and uh, jump plus three, so that uh, so does Dancer, so that both the males and females can get it. Um, I probably don't need anything here. I'll just get one, just to have. So if I change Ramza, he'll have it. Um, I'm not gonna get any items right now. Hopefully I won't get any randoms, cause that will definitely be pathetic. Um, I'm just gonna grab these because I can. Okay. So I'm guessing that the first battle where I might actually have to stop and think about what I'm doing could be Dorder. Could be. Just because their health is rather low, so I'm not sure how much damage they're going to be taking from things like the wizards when they're throwing their spells out, but I'm just going to have Ramza hang out, do some singing. So I guess I should just show you these things. So obviously you've seen Antimatter and Parasite. Shock is good when they have more health, and then Difference is great when the enemy has... Uh, high MP. Oh, look at that. Let's see, I don't want him to go into critical quick. Oh, look, he's sleeping. wonder if I can beat him up now. Nope, nope. Because Biblos is not real good at physical attacks. Oh, and for those of you who don't know, the reason I'm, <laughs> I'm choosing Biblos is you get him at the very end of a long, difficult, optional area and you only get to use him normally for like maybe five battles at the end of the game like the final sequence of battles that's all you get him for and i always always thought that was unfortunate even in vanilla because it was such a great unit and uh he just never gets used like even if you were to get him and you put all that hard work into it and whatnot you're not going to want to use him because you've already got your set up, you've got your favorite characters, and you're just not gonna throw this unit into it, which you can't really modify because it's a monster, and monsters can't really be changed at all. So, you just, you don't use Biblos, and, uh, he's not that great, honestly. Um, which is another reason why, uh, I think I just contradicted myself, but he's not that great relatively, is what I meant. So if you compare him to all the other special units, I mean, sure, I'm wrecking everything right now, but antimatter doesn't do a whole lot of damage later on. And 25% chance to do a bunch of different status effects is good, but since it's random status effect, might not even be relevant. It's not all that great. So, the biggest use is actually the difference. It doesn't sound like it does damage based off of the enemy's magic points, but uh, it actually is the most useful because boss units almost always have high MP. So, oh jeez, that was a terrible location. I just put them all in. Oh well. 
they're gonna have to deal with it now. So, they'll be doing max damage to, like, bosses later on, just with difference. Um, which is, you know, good, it sounds great, but in actuality, um... Yeah, he's probably gonna get shot down. Um... Oh, good. Okay, that archer's pretty much screwed. So, um... He sounds great, they both sound great, but... That's pretty much his one useful thing. Is difference on the bosses. So, in a vanilla round, I mean, the only point of having him is if you're gonna take him into... Uh, I probably shouldn't have had him run off on his own. This doesn't kill the wizard. Okay. Oh, look, Petrify. There we go. Alright, so much for this battle. Um, you know, he's only going to be doing max damage to, like, the final boss in a normal game, because he's just not in the party. He's just not there. He doesn't have a role. He's just like, hey, you got to this really difficult optional area. Uh, items are good there in vanilla, but you don't need the powerful items in vanilla. So they're like, hey, let's give this cool unit. And he's cool. Like I said, he's always my favorite. Even though he's super niche and not useful, really, in vanilla. But uh, the same problem happens in, in 1.3, just because you get him so darn late. So now, just giving him his time to shine. I will probably end up changing Rom's ability at some point, but right now, that's what I'm going with. So what else has changed? Um, oh, you know what? I probably should have pointed out in that last battle what changed. How silly of me. The units were different in that last battle, and also there was no archer without a bow. That always was hilarious in Dorder when they had an archer with no bow in vanilla. So many things wrong with vanilla. But it's still a great game. I love that game. But now this one's more fun. It's just just uh so much <laughs> resetting and fixing and Oh, trying to not die horribly. Alright. It would be so funny and so cruel to jump up here. I'll just take this one slow. Let them come to me. Go beat up Algus and Delita. Nope, Delita's, Delita's a coward. There we go. Algus charging in like a brave man, ready to die. Which he will. After being poisoned. Ha! Oh. <laughs> oh, I love the sound effect of Wave Fist when it kills them, and just the telekinetic punch to the gut. That's. Oh. That's great. All right, now for the artillery. Gotta love the dead proc. Now I did give them uh, secondary abilities. I couldn't decide on the third one. I gave one battle skill. I was thinking of giving two battle skill. But then I decided to just give one battle skill and gave the second one punch art. I don't know why. I just felt like it. I was looking at everything and all the spell casting ones, I didn't know how useful they'd be because I don't know one how much MP Biblos accrues. I could have easily looked it up on the charts. The job charts where they've got the the growth rate. I guess I should have done that. But uh instead of doing something calculated like that, I just gave them all non magic classes. Let's see, can I get him? Oh, I can't get him. Oh, wait. There. It's funnier that way. <laughs> I always wanted a frog statue. Um, so then I gave him Sing and Dance, which... Hilariously, do I have him? No. There is a dance animation for Biblos. Or, I should really say for the panda. Uh, which is what Biblos is, but it's really funny, and I need to... Oh, wait, look, they're doing it now. They're that thing where they stick their feet up in the air, like they're doing a, a ballerina move. 
That's their, uh... That is their dance animation. I'm gonna torture this guy. Let's see, I don't think I can hit him. I wonder what happens. Ah, oh, so close. Alright. But... The things you don't get to see normally. Oh, and, uh, defend, too. All enemies have a defend animation, which you just, you don't see in vanilla, because you can't make monsters defend. But, if you were to give them defend, or I think, I think there might be a monster in 1.3 that has that, because that's another thing that's changed in 1.3, is, uh, monster abilities have changed a lot. Which is great, because in vanilla they all had counter. I mean, that's pretty stupid. They all just have counter, that's it. Like that bomb earlier. That bomb had, uh, Oh my gosh. Critical Quick, which I don't think is in 1.3.08. And I think it was in the previous version I played through. I remember seeing CT save, which replaced, yeah, replaced uh, Critical Quick. And I don't have PA save. I, I'm surprised the PA save was removed, but oh well. Not sure why PA save is gone and MA save is still there. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to do some shopping here. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll pause. Next time I will continue with uh, Thieves' Fort over here. And I might do some randoms in between then and now. But, uh... Eh, you know what? I won't do any randoms. Just do some shopping. So, see you then. Okay, uh, welcome back. It's gonna be, uh, part two of, uh, Let's Play, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3 with Biblos. Or should I say starring Biblos? I'm trying to keep their levels about even. It's not gonna be possible with the guests because you can't really do anything about the level guests are, but that's alright. I think right now, let's see, yeah, yeah. Well, Algus is level 3, but that's what I am too. So, it's all good. Hopefully, nothing bad will happen here. I always love the assassination battles because it gives you the chance to do it, some fun stuff. You could either just try to go for the kill and end it, or have some fun with it and try to kill everybody. Sometimes you don't have a choice, you just end up killing everybody anyway, but... I am going to see if I can get them all. And then Maluda. Oh, that's good stuff. Petrify right off the bat. Probably won't last long, because... She'll just cast these sooner. Uh, one thing I just noticed is I'm going faster than everybody else. I guess Biblos is fast in this version, because I'm pretty sure Biblos is slow in vanilla. So, we'll see if that is true later on. Did I, did I petrify? Oh, okay, I thought I petrified the other way, mage. Then it would have been over, but... Uh, oh, should I dance? Arr, I, you know what? Probably shouldn't, but I'm gonna dance. And, well, hey, only some of the dances are here. What happened? It's weird. I've tested it before. And they were all there. Well, I will have to figure that out. Um, I'm gonna dance anyway, just so you can see the hilarious. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should. How much MP does this wizard have? 39. She's still gonna be able to cast life, even if she gets hit by that. Yeah, I'll go with who his name is. Wiznabus? I don't know. That was a weird word. Ah, oh, double shot. Crossbow, that's a new ability in uh, 1.3. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go, here we go. There he goes! Oh, don't disappear. Disappeared. Well. Sticking his leg up like a ballerina. Pretty funny. Oops, sorry about that. There we go. Resume. Proper speed. I 
I should turn this up, so... There, maybe now it's... Audible. I never much cared for the, uh... Music at a sped up pace, but I'm sure it's better than no music at all. Oh, petrified and killed? I don't think I've ever... See, I didn't know that you could even be given a status when you're killed. I mean, you're, once you're dead, it removes statuses, but you shouldn't be able to get petrify. Oh, wow, she can be silenced. Okay. Shouldn't be able to get petrify when you're killed. Oh, so that's what it looks like when dancing. Between dances. Looks like he's hurt. I thought he was hurt. But he's just chilling. Yeah, currently performing. Ugh, six damage. Yeah, they're they're not much for melee casters, are they? Ooh, guarded. How dare you? Ah, oh, little bastard knocked me off the the roof there. That's a, that's a higher chance of being knocked back with throw stone in 1.3. I don't think it's a hundred percent. I just think it's higher. Uh, they haven't... Oh, that's right, because I killed the White Mage. I was expecting that White Mage to get unpetrified. Oh! Going for the kill, huh? Three health. Uh, can I get over there? Can't chakra him. I don't think... Too height. Yeah, zero vertical. Alright. Well, let's keep up this. Let's see if we can get a petrify. Eh, uh, sleep and confusion. That's pretty good jump up there. Oh, they have innate ignore height. That's why I'm able to do that. Ah. HP restore, huh? Oh, sleep's pretty good. I think Maluda can get over there? No, but she does have punch art. And she will do a wave fist, so... Gotta run away. And if only... Oh, I had done... should have done shock. Darn it. Only just realized that. Alright, Mood, I'm gonna block you. So, there's no real point to silence her. It's not gonna change anything. Just hit her up with this. The only real way to damage them that I've got. And Algus just removed the awesome shock potential of almost 70 damage. Oh well. Do about 40 with it. Oh, revive. There we go. Should have seen that coming. Eh, she's going for a heal instead of, uh. Instead of. Isuna on the other white mage, which I think would have been smarter. Distribute, distribute. Maybe distribute does suck. Maybe distribute. Only heals Ramza? When there's extra healing? I, like I said, I've never used Distribute. I don't even know how this works. Share excess HP. So... So he's got 33 now. Gained 33. Gained 66. Oh, now I can't even test it because he went twice. Now he's at max health. Oh, what? He didn't get healed at all. Well, I'll stop that right away. Huh, nobody's getting healed. Now, why on earth is that happening? Hmm. Hmm, shenanigans, I'm sure. All because I hacked in Biblos. Alright, Maluda. Your time to shine is at an end. I need to investigate this further. You there, stop singing. Sing something else. Uh, wait. Ah, oh, crap. I was singing the wrong song. Ooh, bit the dust. All right. All because I was singing the wrong song. Time to kill Maluda. 20. It's not 
hurt, because now I did the right song. Great. Hmm. Hmm. Don't guard this, Maluda. Alright. Yeah, you, you keep doing that, Ramza. Now that I've figured out what the hell I was doing. My goodness. So, Roms is a ninja right now. Hmm, exactly the amount of HP she has. Perfect. And the reason I have him as a ninja is to make him faster. Because I figured he'd just be singing so that I could make the Biblos Battalion do all the work. There are a few battles in mind that I think were, will probably be rather difficult with uh, just a bunch of Biblos. But that's what I'm going with. Why do I still have a dagger? Why did I not equip anything else? Not that it really matters, but... Why did I not equip anything else? I bought them, and I didn't equip them. Smart. Alright, so... Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, I need to... Alright, I am going to take a short break here to see if I can figure out why my dancing Biblos does not have all of his dances. So let's see if I can figure that out. <laughs> 